Now let's talk about chat patterns. So in this lesson, we're going to break down some of the M and W variations and how you can spot them and basically how they work out, right? Chat patterns have been around for decades and we still expect them to be around in the coming decades also because the buying and selling pressure will always still be present to shape the charts. Technology may change and the dynamics as well, but human emotion will still be there to leave those footprints that we as investors can basically track or trace to basically analyze and see what is going on in the market what the big boys are doing basically so let's start off with the m formation the m is a variation of a double top chart pattern basically the difference between a double top and the m is that the m has tall sides when it works and when it fails the left side still remains tall but the right side is basically cut off which means the m formation is now invalid so the takeoff price is where the uptrend begins to lead the m the run up of the m is often a straight line affair and not a rounded turn so what do we mean by this is basically the move is very rapid in a straight line more than just uh, some consolidation going to the downside right so it's uh, usually a sharp straight line affair and not around a 10. now the climb lasts long as bulls enthusiasm drives price higher however nasdaq peaks and retraces all the time so the retrace forms uh, the first peak of, of the m now when we talk about the tops we are referring to the peaks that are formed when price hit a certain level that cannot be broken after hitting this level the price will bounce off slightly but then return back to retest this level again if price fails to break through that level once again it will bounce off that level again and basically this forms the m formation so as you can see in this illustration boost try to gather and attempt a new high but price toes at or near the price of the first high and then drops back down so that is our second peak this up and down movement forms the second peak it confirms the chat pattern as a valid one and this will give us a signal of a breakout now in this illustration as you can see here we've marked these points over here a b c d up to e and basically the peaks of this m formation here appears as this these peaks marked a and c with b marking the lowest point between the two peaks basically this is our breakout price also referred to as the neckline of the m formation now in this illustration you can see that a has closed below the price of b showing us a downward breakout if price closes above the highest peak looking at a and c before closing below the breakout which is at b you do not have a valid m formation it's not an m formation it's basically invalid it's a breakout to the upside right making the potential m formation invalid 100 d represents a pullback when nasdaq returns to uh, the breakout price to retest it before continuing with the formation now let's talk about the busted m basically this is what we call the false breakout right so we found out that 50 percent of the m's will bust a downward breakout in a bull market this means one in three trades are likely to lose money if you see a failing m formation then you have to place buy orders but patience is key because a single bust can turn into a double top or a triple top so you, you need to uh, practice patience with that as well with the rise of this formation basically price makes a steep move higher often in a straight line run to the upside leading to the first peak and breakout is basically when the price closes below the lowest valley uh, between the two peaks and you have a valid m formation if instead of breaking out to the downside price first closes above the first peak then you do not have a valid m formation anymore the chart pattern should look like an m once is complete like what you can see with this illustration that are on your screen right now so this is an example of a double top with a rounded turn and then here we have an m formation with a steep move uh, which we can also call the line this is actually the most common version of the M formation that we'll be looking for. We can also refer to these peaks as twin peaks. So basically, what we mean by this is that price should form two peaks in the big M. Now, these peaks can also be formed from gently rounded turns or from the straight lines that we explained before. But the important part is that both peaks should top out near the same price for it to be a valid M formation. As you can see here, we have examples of some bear setups as well as some good setup. Just keep in mind, it won't always be picture perfect as you're seeing it right here. But basically, this is what we'll be looking for. So just familiarize yourself with these patterns and you'll be able to catch all these informations every single time. So all you have to do is to concentrate more on the shapes, 
Now let's move on to the opposite chart pattern of the M formation, which is the W formation, right? So a W in opposition to the M formation, it has a twin bottom instead of twin tops, right? So a twin bottom with two sides, which forms the W formation. It acts as a reversal of a downward trend. So when the market has hit the rock bottom and is now turning into an uptrend. As you can see from this example here, our takeoff point will be higher. And then our bottoms at the right at the bottom, obviously. And then we have a breakout point over here where we can expect a retest. The retest is the behavior that we can that we can expect after a W chart pattern has formed. So basically, the breakout in this case happens when the price closes above the peak uh, B, which is our breakout point over here uh, between the two bottoms, which are A and C. So the two, uh, the two bottoms that we have here uh, forming our W formation is A and C over here. Now, just like we, what we said with our M formations, we also have the busted w formation just like we had uh, the busted m formation right when these patterns are busted basically we are taking trades in the opposite direction that we usually do right so the same goes for the busted w formation right here as you can see would be expecting a retest of this breakout over here but as you can see in this case it closed below our breakout point and then continued in the opposite direction right and it continued to the downward side so this is where the point where we start to enter our sell trades instead and just forget about buying anymore because now we basically have a busted w formation so when it's busted you are now taking your sales instead of buying trades. So that's all that you need to understand when it comes to these informations. It is a very important pattern chart. As you can see, this is where we get most of our signals from. So let's move on to our next lesson where we're going to talk about why traders fail. Let's get straight into it.